Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing the Hourly Bullet Arena on LeeChess.org. We've got 23 players. We are starting right now. Mr. Tony Rowe is the second seeded player, and we are playing Tony in the first game. I've got black. Let's play g6, move one. Maybe mix it up. Let's do a double fianchetto. Put the bishop on b7 against Mr. Rowe. Uh, I'm going to play knight h6 and maybe try to direct this knight towards f5. I think that would be interesting to try to control the d4 square. It's an unusual line. Maybe I can get Tony to think in the opening. Seems like he is at the moment. I think he'll play bishop takes h6. This is usually the plan if you go down this route. So let's put the bishop on g7 for now. And then play d6. I have the two bishops, but I don't know if this is a position where the two bishops are going to be of tremendous value. That remains to be seen. So let's just develop in the meantime. I'm going to put my rook on c8 and go from there. Probably queen on d7 makes sense. Maybe pawn e6 to kick the knight away. Let's go queen d7, though, first. This looks flexible. Actually, e6 followed by knight takes b4 is possible, isn't it? So I should probably go for that. I did not realize that that pawn was hanging after he brings the rook over to c1. And now c4 is hanging as well. That's just a loose point in his position. Uh, let's play d5. a7 is hanging, but I think if white takes it, maybe rook a8. Okay, so he's going to do that. I guess I'll bring this back, just securing the a7 pawn. And after the trade, d5 is isolated, but he has almost no time remaining. And there goes the queen. Okay, so the two bishops did bring us some value there, but I think especially uh, the... E6 followed by knight takes B4 operation was the thing that really killed uh, killed white. Okay, Scandinavian against racing chess 74. And let's play queen takes D5 and go for this E5 central equalization idea. I like bishop G4 here. Seems like I'm lagging a little bit. Is that is that me or is that actual lag? I hope it's just something temporary, but you never know. It is Friday night. It's about 10.30 p.m., I'm staying in and playing on Lee Chess tonight, as you can see. Okay, let's take that. I guess I'll take here. Not sure the opening of the position favors me. I'm worried about the D and the C pawns if they get going. Like a clear plan for white is C4 followed by D5. If they do that now, I'll probably have to play uh, maybe bishop takes F3. Mm, let's actually go here. So if knight takes E5, I'm going to insert this capture on E2. But there's some open lines against my king, right? Like the B file is completely open. I got to watch B7. I got to watch A7 in some instances. My opponent's taking some time, though. Okay, let's do this. Put the pawns on dark squares. Our queens are lined up, but the bishop is in the middle. If C5, I can always take this. So we're not going to worry about that too much at the moment. Okay, let's bring this over. Maybe king B8 to hide, but... I'm going to take my chances with queen to a6 and try to run my king towards the center. I know this looks absolutely crazy, but I might be able to slip away. And given the amount of time that white is currently burning, I don't think they're going to have enough in the tank to checkmate me. Yeah, they're just running out of options here. Uh, let's even, let's just play king f5, run away even further. And we went on time. So white thought way too long there trying to execute the attack. But my position, eh, not convinced of, uh, with it out of the opening. Okay, I'm going to berserk this game against John MK and play an open Sicilian. This is an aggressive play, but I'm feeling in an aggressive mood today. Bishop g5 followed by f4 is what I'm going to do. That move, hmm. Yeah, you're not supposed to be able to get away with e5 that early, but... Oh, that's a queen. Then we'll go take that pawn on f6 too. Let's give a check here, put the bishop out on c4. And he just resigned. So, lucky break that we win the queen right away. And we have nine points with the fire. Get your fire emojis ready. It's not a live stream, so you can't do the fire emojis. But you can do it in spirit, right? <laughs> John MK asks, is this on YouTube? Yes, it will be. We're playing FM La Roca. La Moroca, that is. 2247. Didn't really want to take on E4 and go into a end game quite yet. So, we're playing it this way. Hopefully I can attack his center, c5, knight, c6, etc. Uh, let's play g6, put the bishop on g7. I do think white's going to have some compensation for the sacrifice material right now, but we'll see. Yeah, let's just continue taking stuff in the middle. I know he gets to win h5, but 
my king is probably going to be pretty secure where it's at. He could always play knight f7 and try to win some stuff back, but the initiative is probably more important to him right now. And I know that, so I'll try to play against that. Against that fact. Let's hide our king. Mm, not sure about this move. Uh, let's go here, but queen g3 is an issue. I might have actually been fortunate there that he didn't find that. Uh, let's see, queen a4. Yeah, let's go queen a4, supporting that knight. Gotta watch my time, though. I'm way down on time now, all of a sudden. Hmm. I'm gonna try to swap off the rooks, but yes, this is not good because he's winning d4 when all is said and done. Ooh, but we win this. Okay, position suddenly good. He took with the knight instead of taking uh, with the bishop. That would have been a lot stronger. Now it's a race against the clock. Can we do this? Let's get the rook over. Attack that knight. If the knight moves, queen a1 check is going to be killer. So I think he has to let the knight perish where it stands. Uh, let's do this. And then we're going to do that. We're going to go here and try to check on f1, I suppose. Let's take this first. Try to get into that f1 square. Got to watch the perpetual opportunities against our king. Oh boy, didn't mean to do that. Oh, I got mated right in the middle of the board, queen f4. <laughs> I walked right into that checkmate. My king was going for a walk on the dark squares. We'll tell him nice one for that one. I saw that right, right after I played it too. Okay, Berserking 101, I'm not going to Berserk this game because based on that username, I think he plays fast. So he's going to Berserk it himself. Let's play a check on b5, just a disruptive move. This tends to frustrate the white players, or the black players rather, in this line. Let's go h3. And then we're going to play a4, just stop him from going b5. And black has development issues, basically. Yeah, that was too bad there in that last game because I... Managed to avoid the major problems at the outset, but I ran into issues later on. Okay, we're up a solid pawn here against our esteemed opponent, Mr. Berserking. He's trying to mate on g2. We're not going to allow that. Let's bring the knight back just to bother him. Go attack that rook too. Still up a good pawn. Let's see if he wants to swap those dark square bishops. Maybe get our queen up here. If that knight moves... I guess I can just win this pawn. We'll go here. Queen f6 is now an idea at all times. Check. Go pick up the knight. We'll just bring this up. And sack away. Okay, we win that game. But we've lost our fire. La Roca probably still playing. We must assume that he'll win. John HF, 1840, has won all their games. They're having a good tournament. Anton is in the chat, and he is rooting for Tony, of course. Trifon's Chicken Kebab, 1965. Next opponent. I'm still sticking with e4. Trying to get more practice in with this line. e6, shutting in the light square bishop. I don't think that's a good idea for black. Because that piece is going to have difficulties getting free. He's going to put it on a6, but let's go here. And if he wants to take on c4, I suppose we'll allow that. Ah, he can play b5. b5. I'm dropping pieces here. Not good so far. <laughs> Not good at all. Okay, well, we'll try to cause some development issues, maybe. Perhaps with this. If he takes... Okay, at least I get this check in. I can somewhat give him problems. Although now he can just take our knight on d6. That looks smart. And then take that pawn. Yeah, this is what I did not want. Kind of a static position where I'm just worse. Also, I'm losing f1. He didn't take it. Gotta wake up. Gotta wake up, John. This is not good play so far. Take it or... Let's play a3 first. Kick his queen. Possibly b4 even. Yeah, let's go b4. Because if he takes everything, I can take on c8 at the very end. I somehow feel that's good for me. We'll see what he wants to do here, though. He might push c4. He does. Now, I'd like to play a4 followed by b5, so let's try to do that. Kick that queen around a bit. 
Uh, yeah, let's do that. I have to watch the mate on G2, though, is the problem, one of the problems here. Let's look for a trade. Guess we'll do this, and then bring the knight back. Uh, he has knight C3, however. It's bad news if he finds it. I might escape with a victory, just because of the time. The time being on my side right now. Let's give a check. We'll watch that second rank, too. Just make sure he can't come in there. He's playing really fast now. Oh, boy. <laughs> Could have taken our queen right there. Okay, and we win. Pretty shaky victory right there, and I'm paying the price on points. I have 13 points right now. I am stringing together a streak now, but La Marocca and John HF are both still streaking. Hopefully playing each other. Maybe one of them can eliminate the other. Manstein, I'm not going to berserk this game. It's probably a little early still to berserk. Let's just stick with the Scandi. Let's play a Queen A5 variation. We go C6. Bring the Knight out to F6. Bishop out to F5, as is customary in this line. E6. I'll probably play the queen back to c7 voluntarily, unless he does something like that. Okay, uh, I'm going to be greedy and grab this pawn. Let's see if I can hit him with some crazy-looking move. Uh, but he has c3 here. Okay, he, he played a bad move, but he had c3 at that juncture. <laughs> it would have been much better. Now he has to take my bishop. And this should be excellent for black. I'm actually not going to give a check on a1, because that would just push my queen into maybe a bad position. So let's do this. Now I'm threatening to take a couple times on b3. Is the idea behind this operation. Probably has to play queen c4. Okay, he's going to do that. Now we can play knight e4 attacking this. If rook e2, there's knight check on c3 followed by picking up the rook. So this is very good. And we're up 20-some seconds. Just defend against his kingside attacks. And the extra material should carry us to victory. Let's bring the rook up here, hitting the pawn on h4. Next, I'll grab some space, maybe b5, if he plays g3, for instance. Okay, he's allowing us to take this pawn, so let's do that. Bring the rook into the second rank. Push, push, push. Got to win fast. Must win fast. It's imperative if we want to get back in this one. Rook f3 check, and he's down on time. Okay. So 17 points. John HF took a loss, probably to Lamarocca. Yes, he did. So this is the guy to beat right now, FM Lamarocca. Quick player, and he has not suffered uh, a loss yet this tournament. Nothing but wins. Okay, Feolius. Playing in Alakines. Or knight back to g8. Hmm. Not sure what you call that variation. <laughs> I'm going to go h4, h5, and just try to hack against this king. Wow, okay. Aggressive play by my opponent for sure. Let's take... I want to get at h7 now. would love to do that. I'm actually going to throw in this move in the hopes that he was pre-moving. Because I think I can get away with it. Okay, knight takes g5. Now we're on h7 again. And he must take extreme care. I can always castle queenside if I'd like to try to checkmate him. Let's bring this back. Oh, but he has rook f7. Mm. Yeah, I should have anticipated that. Okay, now we can take here. So I didn't lose any material there, fortunately. Let's give a check. See where he blocks or goes with the king. I'm going to do this. Maybe bishop d3 is an idea. He can check on h1, but I think I go to d2 and I should be fine there. His queen is hanging. His rook is hanging. His only move is probably queen h5, but after I take here and then play queen g5, it should just be over. Queen g7 or queen g8 mate, both being threatened. Okay, so 21 points. We got to get some points in a hurry, though. He's 11 points ahead. Might be time to berserk. Mario was just asking if I was recording. And hello to Kazi and Anton in the chat. All right, El Messias 10. Mm. Keep getting paired with high-rated opponents, though. I know that my current pace is not going to be enough to win, but we'll just see maybe one or two more rounds if my uh, chief rival, La Marocca, is going to drop any games. 
If he drops a game, all right, we've got a contest on our hands. Uh, let's play the bishop back here. So stopping e4 for the moment. He can play knight e5 and go after my light square bishop. That's a good move. He does this. Okay, so we're going to win a pawn now and hit this guy in the process. White has perhaps some compensation, but he gives that pawn up, and then he gets the queen up. Gives the queen up. Okay, so that's a quick win, but doesn't bring us any closer. All right, big game right here. we got to try to win this. Very, very important. Let's play the four pawns attack. See how much theory I remember in this line. If anything. Oh, this is the crazy line. <laughs> I do not recall much as to how to combat this, but again, we'll find out. Let's go here. We're just playing for maximum space. Knight d7, probably queen e3 if he does that. Okay, let's take. Let's castle queen side. I gotta watch out for rook takes f4 ideas. That's something I must be heads up about. I'm gonna try to put my bishop... I was thinking the long diagonal, but I do gotta watch the c4 pawn. So let's maybe put it on d3. It's probably the next best option. Yeah, attack the rook, attack the pawn on g6 behind it. This looks good. Okay, he's going to give up the exchange. Let's do this. My knight's a little shaky here, but it's probably okay. Let's just control some of the key files. Probably bishop back here is what I should do. If allowed, I'm going to stop him from advancing any further on the queen side. Ah, did not anticipate that happening, unfortunately for me. Let's go here. Mm -hmm. But he can't take my rook with the pawn, importantly. He's got to take it with... Well, he doesn't take it at all. Okay. Uh, 93. Consistently missing moves this tournament. It's a problem. It's a big problem. I want to do queen takes h5 type stuff, but is that going to work? Maybe knight g5 next? Okay, let's do that. Uh, I can't even do that. He has bishop back to h6. Okay, we do get this move in. Helpful. Come in here, attack g6, attack his knight. He has knight d7. Oh, he missed that. Okay, so we win that game. we still got 10 minutes left. That's a lot of time in this 27-minute tournament. Again, that game was touch and go, but we get the victory. I missed the bishop h6 move. Let's try to capitalize against Manstein. We be keeping an eye on that tourney standings on the left-hand side here in this accelerated dragon game. One thing you don't want to do is play f3 too early in this setup, I've noticed, so let's play it this way. I'm going to bring my knight back. I feel like he's going to go for d5. Mm, not sure I should have done what I just did there. Okay, let's just castle. Because if I take d5, my pawn on b2 was going to hang at the very end, so probably this is the better way to play it. Let's play h3, just stopping any knight g4 stuff. Let's play rook e1. Just trying to make helpful moves at the moment. Let's bring this up. Maybe knight a4, looking for knight into c5 or b6. I could see this being good. Also, bishop g5 is an idea, attacking that pin knight. Now he's probably going to go knight e4. But I think I'm better in any case. On uh, knight e4, I can take g7, followed by rook takes e4. And then d takes e4. Importantly, I have queen c3 check. Picking up that queen, that queen on d7. And I'll have a queen and a knight against two rooks. And I'm ahead on the clock, too. So go take that guy. Let's go here. Go attack f7. No back rank issue. Our king can always escape here. And he can't play rook d7 or rook e7. So he's just in big trouble right now. And this should be mate in a couple. Actually, almost mate. Yeah, mate on the next move. Bishop e6. Okay, 33 points, but... Lama Roca keeps winning. Stop winning. <laughs> Time to berserk, I think, if I want any chance. 41-33. Hmm, okay. My hand has been forced. I gotta do it. We got a Slav. Some sort of Slav. Not a very good line by White, but probably for his purposes here, it's fine. Okay, let's play a5. Just gonna try to go after the d2 point, I suppose. We're gonna go here, try to hold the pawn for now. Uh, not spectacular play by me, but 
I have little time to contemplate it. Oh boy, <laughs> I'm so rusty and berserking. I'll do my best, but... Let's see if we can get that Rook down to B2. That would be really helpful if we could do that. Uh -huh. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, my time is just so shaky right now. Uh, Got to get my knight up to e5 or something into... He's going to block my bishop off all over the place. Threatening mate on g2. Hopefully he doesn't notice. I think he's noticing. Yeah, I'm going to be down on time here. Got a pre-move. He can just... Well, we got a chance if we pre-move. I'll take. Mm. Oh, somehow I won that <laughs> with 0.3 seconds, and I still don't get any closer. Oh, man. He's played two extra games, and that helped a lot. Spirit Chaser 84, I'm just going to play normal. I don't think I have much of a choice. Unfortunately, I can't believe I won that game. Okay, let's play b5. This is a similar variation, in fact. I play this as white also. It's not bad. It's not that great either, but it's not bad. So, yeah, he's going to try to bring the knight to b3, usually via the c1 square. Let's put the queen here. One thing I've learned in this line is you don't want to take on d4 too early. White's actually trying to get you to take. So you just kind of bide your time. So let's go attack that knight. We're going to just trade some stuff. Uh, let's play g6. Maybe e5 in mind. And then we can get at this guy, hopefully. Yeah, kick his knight away and bishop takes e3 is coming. Okay. Hmm. Let's take once. And then take again. I think I'm going to go here. Maybe king g7, king up to g7, if we get a chance. He really wants a trade of queens, I can tell. I'm not feeling a trade of queens at the moment, at least. Okay, let's try to open the position now. e4, he can't really ignore the fact that I'm threatening e takes f3. Let's go here. Now queen b6 becomes enticing. Uh, okay, I guess he was going to play queen d4 if I did that. But I have induced some weaknesses, so that's nice. Check. Okay, let's take. Uh huh. I guess g3, though. I guess I, guess I can do this. I'm not completely sure about this endgame. Our pawns are pretty fast on this wing, though. Got to bring our king up now. Okay, and we won on time. Still 11 points behind. <laughs> no matter what I do, he just adds on the victories. Good player. Good tourney player for sure. He's taking advantage of his opportunities. Thank you, Akil. I'm glad you appreciated that flag. Okay, John HF is the next opponent. Mm, let's have some fun. Let's play H5 followed by H4. Hack away on the king side, just like we were before. Let's go knight f6. This also stops your opponent from playing too fast in the opening. they got to slow down and try to assess what's going on. Let's play this. If he goes bishop f3, we have g4 is the thing. He's going to castle queen side, and so am I. Let's do this. Ooh, bishop g4, go pick up this. Take. Go knight e4, attack the queen, also attack b2. Let's try to bind the position. g4, cramping him even further. Let's go here. Queen a5. Now he can't move this knight because he would lose the queen on e1. And we can take advantage of that with the push. 
And now he's really in trouble. Take that. Take that. Now we're threatening check and mate. Mate in two. Okay, so we might get in one or two more games, but those are going to be your final standings, at least the top two. Place number three is still a battle between a few different players. Lots of players, actually. Yazoo and Erasure. Sticking with E4. Yeah, this will probably be the last game. Just a minute and a half left in the tournament. Oh. I was about to take a sip of water, and then he finally played. All right, we got a Sicilian. And a Kalashnikov variation. I like putting the knight in on d6. And then let's play queen back to d1. This is a fine way of continuing, I think. Hmm. Not sure how to play against that. I'm just going to go here, I guess. Kind of unsure what to do, but I guess we'll find out. Ah, bishop c5 was possible there. I probably should have played that. I'm going to castle queen side, though. And then try to throw my pawns at him on the king side. This somehow looks correct. Try for g5, h5. Yeah, let's go g5 first. Take that. Open lines. Rook g1 is now a big problem for him. And he's going to lose the queen or a knight. Let's just take that. Take this. Okay, take that. He's sacrificing everything. There will be nothing left of Black's position. <laughs> Quite literally, knight f6 coming. And then he offers the draw. <laughs> okay, now it's safe to take a drink of water. He's going to wait for the tournament clock to expire so I don't get the points. It's very petty. Not like it would have mattered anyway as far as the standings go. Or he's just going to time out in general. Bad form, Yazoo and Erasure. Not cool, man. All right, so back to the tournament. So Lama Roca won. With a very nice score. What did he get? 59 points. And he capitalized on that early victory over us. And what round was that? Number three. And he was just on a roll after that. We did beat him in that one game, which was kind of back and forth, that Alakine's game. But he played fast, and he got a lot of victories, too. And that's important. So nicely played tournament by him. And Faolus comes third. Let me just check my stats real quick. Faced a lot of good players. Most of my opponents seemed to be around 2,000. Not lots of great uh, berserking opportunities. There was the game against John MK, 1753, berserking 101, in which I did not berserk, but didn't get too many opportunities to berserk beyond that. Maybe I have to start berserking against 1,900, 2,000s if there's someone like this who's clearly running away with the tournament. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll be back with more videos very soon, so stay tuned. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.